I'll just leave you guys here. I'll take my license and the truck. Perfect. Yeah, I'll we'll do just start it. walking. I'll report back. Yeah. Okay, well, that's it. Rugged Destination signing off. zero of the Washington BDR. We made it to the Bridge of the Gods. Our daily goal is like somewhere between 75 and 80 miles. Section one of the BDR, pretty thick. Yikes. <laughs> How many pounds did it take? How many pounds did that kettlebell, Dan? 35. 35 pounds. That's the cost of being swole right there, folks. How do we do, Dan? We'll see how long that holds up. I'm gonna go a day. We got a little duct tape patch job here. Ready for some lunch? I think everybody's ready for some lunch. <laughs> we had some complaining going on in the car. We had some not so brotherly love happening in the back seat. What's for lunch, Mama? Uh, we're gonna do some peanut butter and honey sandwiches and peanut butter and jelly. We're having a good time. Yeah. So we have a lake, uh, them and uh, if we make it 20 miles, we can camp on a lake. Thank you, Jesus, for the food we're about to receive from our bounty through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Yeah, so we just left night one campsite. Today we're gonna be in Packwood, 45 miles to night two campsite. So we are making our way down Bethel Ridge. We're headed north. Uh, so we're gonna go through the Nile and then we'll go through Ellensburg. This is the difference between four days of not showering between a man and a woman. I pretty much look the same. It's not fair. <laughs> long day did not make it as far as we thought we were going to we still made our minimum of like 75 miles paved road. We're like maybe five miles from Ellensburg. Good morning so far though. Saw some deer, got some sweet drone shots. Do good. We are on the north end of Ellensburg. It is paved, but we decided to air down because they're a giant pothole. Make our way to Kashmir. Ellensburg to Kashmir is only 76 miles. So we'll see how far we make it today. Is it lunchtime, Mama? It's lunchtime. Also having some old-fashioned smoked sausages. How are we doing today, boys? Good. So we are, uh, where are we? <laughs> just before Cashmere. <laughs> we thought we'd share the lovely view that we just came into. Fire season in Washington, pretty real. We 
are on section three, headed down toward Wenatchee. Very, very technical sections. Like definitely the most challenging. There's not much left of the road and there were these huge dips and rises. One of the inclines was like just over 20 degrees. The road's just very beat up. We can at least make it into Wenatchee here pretty soon. We just finished up dinner at a little walk place in uh, Chelan, or where are we? Wenatchee. Wenatchee. Now we are headed to, where? I forgot, the food Cashmere. is slowing me down. Cashmere. We're actually gonna go stay at a spot that Amanda and I and the boys stayed at this last spring and we absolutely loved it. Probably gonna pull into camp a little later tonight. Probably have about an hour to travel. So I got a fortune cookie. Traveling more often is important for your health and happiness. I would agree. Good morning. It is about eight o'clock. We came and parked here on the top of Chumstick Mountain, right at sunset. As you can see, this is just an absolutely crazy view. We have 256 miles left in this excursion here. That's totally doable. So we ended up doing 109 miles yesterday, which is our longest day through some of the most technical and difficult terrain. We didn't really set anything up, so we don't have to break down a table or canopy or awning or any of that stuff. So uh, we will just do a breakdown real quick and probably get on the road. Just finishing out section four. We're gonna go into Chelan tonight, restock on fuel. So we're gonna finish up section four today and we'll be on to section five. stayed up at Cooper Mountain Peak. It was pretty cool. I did the math last night. We only had 150 miles left in the BDR. Today we'll push into Conconelli. This will be our first night where we're not going to have our camping buddy. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, Dan doesn't have any more time off available, so he is leaving today. <laughs> It's pretty rugged. I'm gonna be honest, I'm glad that we don't have Dan with us at this point because we've already done like two things that there's no way a stock truck would be able to do. So we'll see if we make it. We might get to go back and do all of this stuff if we have to turn around somewhere, but the journey continues. Today that ends section five. We stopped in at the diner in Conconelli and had a quick dinner, bite to eat. We set up camp. We are at the Salmon Meadows campground, which is about eight miles, 10 miles out of Conconelli. So we have 90 miles left in the BDR before we're at Canada. We're just gonna hang out for the night. Go have a good day tomorrow. Morning 
of day seven. So we're at about 40 miles from the Canadian border. So we're just gonna push through and finish it today. Patrick's just airing down the tires now, getting us ready. So we're very excited to see this stretch because we have not done this road. Small city thinking, I get why you left. Small-minded people, sure know how to drink. I came to the party, I laughed at the jokes you made. So we were coming down from Chopaka Lake, and we just saw a, uh, a ram, a sheep, hanging out. He actually ran right across the road in front of us. And then he went up on the rock wall and was kind of just checking us out, making sure we weren't doing anything goofy. Now we're just airing up. We have, yeah, we have like 10 miles and we're gonna hit Canada. Cause now you, uh, uh, uh. We made it to Canada, we did the whole thing. We did it. We did the whole BDR. Seven days. In seven days, we did the whole BDR as Rugged a family, terrain. as a family of four living in a rooftop tent and a Jeep truck. I wouldn't change anything. Did good, had a lot of fun. Eventually we'll come here and we'll keep going to Alaska. I know, that, that's what I'm really excited for now. I just wanna keep going. Well, that's it. Rugged Destination signing off. I came to the party. I laughed at the jokes you made. I wish that I